Also wanted to say, uh, discipline also prevents disappointment. Mm. Yeah. Right? Because if for whatever, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is, motivation doesn't show up and you end up not doing what you wanted to do, then you'll be disappointed, right? If you didn't have the discipline to do what you were supposed to do, you'll be disappointed with yeah. yourself. Um, but discipline, you know, like once again, doesn't care about motivation. So there is no point in being disappointed. There, there's no... Like there's you, no place for being disappointed. Right, like there, exactly. It won't... It's just, you know, going back to like eating thir- certain things, um, you'll never be disappointed with not eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> right it's true but you will yeah. very often be disappointed after you eat something you knew you were not supposed to because because you'll still not have reached your goal uh you know as far as the way you want to look like or how you want to perform um but you know discipline will even if you're with discipline even if you're not you haven't reached your goal yet you have nothing to be disappointed about because you're not sabotaging yourself by being disciplined yeah and also for those who um i don't know are unsure there's also no shame in being disciplined 